Welcome to another episode of Crocker's Corner right here on Line Sports. I am your host, former NFL and NFL defensive back, Eric Crocker. And today, I have a question for you. When are rookie quarterbacks ready? And what the heck does that even mean? Yes, we're going to talk about the 2021 draft class, the quarterbacks. Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields, Mac Jones, Trey Lance, Zach Wilson. Who's ready? Who's not? And why? I want to make sure you guys answer this question for me at the end of this video. But first, make sure if you haven't already, hit that like button right now and hit that subscribe button. Yes, subscribe to the Lions YouTube channel. All right, let's get into it. Let's have this conversation. I'm ready for it, and I hope you are too. All right, you have Trevor Lawrence, who that's the generational talent. He was the camp miss prospect of this class. You have Justin Fields, the, the athletic freak. All right, but ah, long, loopy release. Uh, holds on to the ball a little too long. Mac Jones, oh, he's the super efficient one, but mm, can't really move as well as some of the other guys. You have Trey Lance. He's the wild card. North Dakota State won a national title, but ah, red shirt freshman, only started 17 games. You have Zach Wilson. Yeah, he's like the hybrid between Patrick Mahomes and, and Aaron Rodgers, right? And there's like no in between. He's just amazing, and he makes all these off-platform throws that everybody wants to see. But, you know, my question is, why is one of these guys more pro ready than the other? And I think we're even asking this question after we watch guys play. Now, right away, I think most people would say, even during the draft process, Mac Jones, most pro ready guy. And right now, I think whoever said that would pretty much be looking smart. All right. He he's was well, PFF grade is like over 80. He's been efficient. He's been good. No Moment has looked too big for him. And I think he's doing a lot of the things that we thought he would do when he got to the NFL. A lot of the same things he's doing in college. Be, being a terrific uh, ball distributor. All right. He's doing a really good job of doing that. Being efficient. Getting the ball out of his hands. Knowing where to go. Pre-snap. All those things. So I, I think when people say pro ready, that's what they're talking about. But look at some of these other guys. Again, Tre uh, Trevor Lawrence. Justin Fields. Trey Lance and Zach Wilson, they have all had some up and down moments. So what makes one guy more regular play than the other? All right, so I asked this question on Twitter at Eric underscore Crocker, if you're not already following me. And it was, I'm trying to figure this out because I, I'm watching Trevor Lawrence and I'm seeing him do some weird stuff. And, and But then he makes plays and he makes throws and he does things where it's like, okay, that's the Trevor Lawrence that they figured they were drafting. That's the... A generational talent. But then he also does some weird stuff. Now, when I ask questions about it on Twitter, a lot of times I get like, well, you know, doesn't have a lot of talent around him. You know, he has LaVisca Chanel. He's pretty good. Uh, James Robinson, he has a thousand yard running back. Uh, Marvin Jones, he's a terrific receiver. Maybe not a pure wide receiver one, but I don't think they just purely lack talent. I think sometimes maybe he just tries to play hero ball and he has to learn not to has had some drops as have you know all these other guys as well but i think he's doing well wouldn't say that he's any more or less ready than anybody else in this class justin fields first time he took the field as a starter he got sacked nine times nine times all right he actually had a net passing yard of one <laughs> i didn't even know that was possible all right then you have zach wilson He's been really up and down uh, to this date. He has, what, four touchdown passes to nine interceptions and just recently got knocked out of a game against the New England Patriots, who, I mean, they beat up on all rookie quarterbacks. Then you have Trey Lance, the guy who needs to sit and has sit, sat, and he hasn't really played a whole lot. But in his one start, he had the second highest PFF grade of any quarterback from this class. So... Me, covering the 49ers, watching all the games, I have this question about why is Trey Lance any less or more ready to start than anybody else? And most people would say Trey Lance needs to sit. So I'm watching the other rookies and, and I'm looking at them play and I'm like, well, does Zach Wilson need to sit? <laughs> does did Trevor, did Justin Fields need to sit before he started, you know, getting his stuff together? I'd say, you know, and if you ask guys like, you know, my guy Quincy Avery, quarterback coach out the Atlanta area, he says all rookies need to sit. And I, I agree with that. I like that sentiment more than just singling out one guy because all rookies 
have had this weird moment. Now, what ultimately determines if a guy needs to sit, has to sit, or does sit? I think it's if he maybe has somebody playing ahead of him. At least that's what Twitter told me. So if you are Trey Lance, Trey Lance is not ready because, well, he has Jimmy Garoppolo ahead of him, and Jimmy Garoppolo has played in the Super Bowl, and he's won a bunch of games for the 49ers. So that makes Trey Lance less ready to play than other people. And, I, you know, I'm like, you know what? That actually makes some sense. But when Zach Wilson got hurt and Mike White took over, and Mike White, I don't know, he had this game where he passed for over 400 yards, completed over 80% of his passes, uh, threw multiple touchdowns, and actually beat the Cincinnati Bengals. Could Zach Wilson have that same type of performance against the Bengals? And if not... If you're not confident that he would, does that mean that he's actually not ready to play? So these are the questions that I have, and I'm, and I'm, I'm trying to get to the bottom of this, so I'm hoping that you guys can help me. What makes one guy more or less ready to start? And I think the answer is this. None of them are ready. They're not ready to take on the, the vigorous uh, schedule of the NFL, uh, everything that goes into just the, the mental preparation of it you know I remember being a rookie and seeing Geno Smith and just the stress that Geno was under you know having to learn an entire offense you know just being in the the New York market and you know just everything that went into being a quarterback at the NFL level uh, most of these guys they don't even huddle up they stand back they don't huddle up they don't call plays in the huddle they don't spit out long verbiage they look to a sideline and they look at a picture and they wait for the coach, coach to signal over to them what the play call is. And then they line up and run their plays, right? Or they line up, fake like they're going to snap the ball, see what the defense is doing, then look to the coach to tell them what to do. That's not the case in the NFL. In the NFL, you have to command the huddle. You got to look guys in the eyes. You got to look guys in the eyes that are 10, 12 years older than you. How can you get those guys to lead, to follow you? And now you have to start reading defenses, and they're, they're moving around a lot more. In college, a lot of times defense, they'll line up, and they'll just play their quarters coverage or whatever it is, man coverage. NFL, oh, it's way more intricate than that. They are disguising things. They have checks for everything that you do. You have these veterans that have been around a long time. They've seen every look. They know what's coming. How do you prepare for that when you haven't really seen it? And I think that's a tough thing when it comes to being a rookie quarterback. And what's going to be asked of them at the NFL level. And that's why we see some of these guys, they do some weird things. They have some bad games. Even Mac Jones, who's probably the most pro-ready out of this entire group, still had a three-interception game. You know? And he's in a pretty good situation over there in New England. They just brought in a ton of weapons. with Kendra Bourne and Nelson Aguilar and, and you know, the two tight ends, Jonu Smith, Hunter Henry. I mean, they, they got some weapons. But even then, it's like it's not resulting in wins. Why is that? Because rookies is hard. It is hard. Even when you're playing well like Mac Jones to make those plays that puts your team over the top. So I went into this asking a question. When are rookie quarterbacks ready? And what does that even mean? I think even with me talking through it, I'm not necessarily sure. But I'm hoping you can help me. So I would love to read your comments. Tweet me at Eric underscore Crocker. Comment below on the YouTube channel. Let me know. When are rookies ready to play? All right, that's going to do it for this episode of Crocker's Corner. Make sure if you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Follow Lines on Twitter, at Lines. And also follow them on Instagram, at Lines underscore sports. And I want to hear from you guys. So make sure you follow me as well, at Eric underscore Crocker. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.